Hey everyone, today we're going to be looking at a full guide and tutorial on how to change one of the most essential settings you have on any sim racer including a set of Corsa and it's the one that most people don't even know about or certainly do not adjust. Today I'm going to show you what that setting is, how to change it and what it does and we're going to see that in game on a set of Corsa. Thanks so much for all your support, we're heading to 30,000 subscribers, do check out the rest of the channel, there's lots more sim racing on there and do check out our partner simrace247.com for all the latest sim racing and motorsport news. Right, we need a mod and you've just seen it in action and this is an older mod but one that I didn't have in my collection and it's a fantastic free top rated mod that's been suggested to me by my community and that is this awesome Ferrari F50 from 1995 by Dan Buxer and it is looking particularly gorgeous today at the Surzbats Gaming Test Track. So this is the F50 1995 as I said this is a version 2.5 it is completely free on Patreon this is 513 brake horsepower 470 newton meters of torque it weighs 1230 kilograms over 200 miles an hour and 0 to 60 in 3.7 seconds you can see why drivers love this car on a set of course so number one is free number two is incredibly highly detailed of a fantastic car in real life so this is the engine bay you can see all the details that have been put on including the carbon fiber you've got the radiator pans going around it really is fantastic so this engine is the 4.7 liter v12 engine only 349 cars were produced in real life and this car comes with 19 skins interior wise it's got some really cool details like all of these badges look how the door attaches that's been all modded to make it look exactly like the real car dashboard looks fantastic too and interior wise it's a brilliant car to have in VR of course it's not just how it looks it's how it drives and this is a really well planted car that you can get a lot of power down on the track you did see me doing some donuts earlier on it's great for that too obviously rear wheel drive so do download it support the modder say thank you or support them in any way you want to and enjoy this fantastic car the link will be in the description <laughs> So now we've got the Ferrari parked outside the garage, let's take a look at what field of view actually is. By definition, field of view is the extent of the observable world at any given moment. So if you've got the proper FOV setting set up, you can see the car dimensions better and you can see more of the car in front of you as well as the exterior of the car. Ideally, your FOV setting should serve to make your display window to what your view would be like if you were actually driving the car in real life. So where are the field of view settings in a set of course? So well, there's two ways you can change them. So I'm gonna show you those now, but then I'm also gonna show you how to calculate the correct field of view for your driving. And this is not just on a set of Corsa, this is on any sim racer. So first of all, let's get content manager up, go into settings, and this time go into a set of Corsa. And you can see we've got a number of other categories here. We would normally go into video to change a lot of the video settings that we see mainly in a set of Corsa, but this time we're gonna to go to view and UI. This may be one that you've not gone in there too often. Now you can see that on camera, we've got a field of view and mine by default was set by at 54 degrees which is wrong and you'll see why later on in the video so 54 degrees I've kind of got used to it you can also lock onboard camera to the horizon if you've not tried that before I did mention this in a video probably about a year ago it can make a set of course look really cool in a slightly different way as well so do check that out and of course you've got your glancing speed and glancing angles there as well so you can play about with all these but the field of view is the really important one so that's the first place you can change it but you can actually actually change it in game too. Here we are then in the car in game and we're ready to drive but what we're going to do we're going to move our cursor to the right hand side of the screen and the settings area that we're going to look for is this one here called onboard settings it's got a helm on it now you may have used this before to adjust your seating patterns if you haven't i'm going to show you how to do that as well so if you haven't got it in the right hand menu just click the four dots type on or on board on the top section there and then you'll see it come below now once you've clicked on it once and you've got it up on the screen Screen, it will automatically come up in your latest used on the right hand menu now we can see here we've got field of view 
12th of at 54. And we've also got our seating positions as well. Now, this seating position is really important before we get into field of view. If you've got a car, especially older mods, and you can see parts of the driver's face, you can actually adjust it here, and then you can save it for that particular car. So not only can you go backwards and forward on the seating position, you can also change your pitch. You can save it there, you can also reset it, and you've also got an auto position as well, which is what the modder has basically said where they want you to be looking from. But you can adjust that, so that is really useful, and we're gonna use that later on when we change the field of view. You've also got these arrows here that on the left hand side where that will actually move you around in the car as the arrows show. So you do have two different ways to actually move your point of view in the car around. Not your field of view, that's something different. So the point of view is those two areas of settings, pretty cool. And we can save those as I said for each particular car, you can reset them and you can put the auto position on. But this field of view here is set at 54 and it's the same here as we saw out of the game when I went into content manager. So as I move the field of view down, you can see that I'm getting closer to the exterior of the car. And you might think, well, that's really counterproductive. But what you can do then is move your point of view around and get that to look correct. The important piece here is for ultimate realism, you need your field of view at the right level, otherwise your sense of realism may be diminished. Now it does depend if you're in a sim rig or if you sat in front of your computer, either on a desk or a table, and I'm gonna show you the calculation we're gonna use. There's a lot of maths that goes into this for all of the different sim racers, but luckily there's a really easy calculator and I've got a web page link that you can go to in the description, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to do the measurement so you can set this up correctly as you can see if I increase the field of view I can actually see the mirrors at the side of the car as well but it looks like I'm too far back there but you can still adjust it this is of course all personal choice but let's take a look at what we should set this field of view to to my sim rig where I play a set of courses so I'm just going to reset it let's take a look at the science This diagram then is really important. So as I am sat in my sim rig or away from my desk, you can see the red line is my screen and you can also see then where my eyes are gonna be compared to that screen. One of the measurements we need to take is the measurement between your eyes and the screen because then what we're gonna do is use this web form here to calculate automatically what our field of view should be set at. And you can see it does it for a number of different car races here and sim races. And that's really useful. You can see. We've got a set of courser on there. We've also got F1 games, Richard Burns Rally, which we know is a massive favorite, European and American Truck Simulator, GTR2 Dirt Rally, you get the picture. So the first thing is you need to choose your screen ratio. Most of you will be on 16 by nine, which is standard screen size. If you've got a different screen ratio, do choose the right one. You can also change the actual screen size in inches here. So if you've got a huge screen or you've got a smaller screen, you can set that up. And I know mine that I'm currently using now is 30 32 inches. This then is the important one, the distance to screen in centimeters between your eyes and the screen. You can see that has an enormous impact on where your field of view should be. So I know and I've measured mine is 70 centimeters when I'm sat in my sim rig between the screen and my eyes. Single screen or multiple screens, I'm gonna choose single screen. And then there's a bezel thickness for triple screens, obviously, because I'm on single screen, that's not gonna do anything. So here it's saying a set of Corsa, I should be on 31.8, let's call it 32 degrees which is a massive difference to what I've been driving all this time in a set of Corsa again just to double check then if I was only at 30 centimeters from my screen because I was leaning towards it on the desk you can see the field of view would actually be at 67.2 remember this is the main setting you can still change the point of view settings to get it to feel like you want it to feel but I'm gonna leave it on 70 centimeters there so that means that I need to be at approximately 32 degrees on the field of view so I'm going to jump back into the game now you can see we've got the Sirspats garage in front of us and we're going to have a look at this onboard settings again so the field of view currently is at 56 and I'm going to change that all the way down to 32. This may actually feel counterintuitive because it looks like I'm going to go through the windscreen but I am going to change my point of view also so let's get it down to the right field of view first so we're going to go all the way down to 32 we're nearly there 
3332. So that is now the correct field of view for when I'm playing a set of Corsa in my sim rig. Do remember if you are alternating between a sim rig and a gaming PC, perhaps on a desktop, you can change this back and you can save it for different cars. Now I'm going to change my seating position a little bit as well. So I've gone all the way back and you can see I've gone through the head of the driver. Sometimes this is what you see on mods when they're a little bit older or they're not set up correctly. But I'm just going to change my seating position forward again and then tilt slightly on the pitch. Not too much so I can see the neck again of the driver. So I've just come up a little bit. So that really then is my perfect setup for my sim rig and of course it only looks so good on the screen because when you're actually sat in your sim rig and your eyes are making that interpretation it will look more realistic for your eyes and that is the key fact here. So let's just take a little bit of a lap of the Surspats Gaming Test Circuit with a different field of view. So that looked really amazing in my sim rig. It looks so much better and I can't believe I've been playing a set of Corsa with the wrong field of view for a couple of years. So thank you to my community for suggesting this. There's a few tweaks I still need to do, but this looks much better. Also do check out the rest of the channel. Please do subscribe if you like what you see. I'd love to have you on board with the Surspats Gamer journey. See you soon guys.